Hi there, Giovanni here at Fractals, and we are doing some more live patching today. But first, let us jump uh, forward in time and see what we will come up with. in the past I hope that it turned out to be quite nice and today we have quite a challenging uh, technique set because we have the Usta multi tempo number one the timber sequencing and the audio rate Usta number one which I never done in this setup but we will see so the audio rate Usta I will start from that because it is the most uh, exotic one so let's start with a new project I am I need to start with a slow and simple sequence because I don't want to mess up with some right at the beginning so um, okay so this is the simple sequence that I will I would like to start on with now I need to, uh, to to perform the audio rate usta. I need to set at least another track. So let's say track four with a clock with an external clock source. So it is gonna be and now it is frozen because it is not receiving any clock. And then I will take the square wave output and patch it to the clock input square wave output of the same oscillator which if I listen to it it's gonna sound like this okay so I'm gonna patch it to my Usta sequencer uh, I'm gonna set the ratio to 1 to 1 and uh, I've got an audio rate track, so if I set the uh, just a uh, two pattern, two stage pattern, and uh, set uh, gate A on and gate B off, and uh, gate one and gate two of the gate A track, and patch it to the quad stereo channel. I'm gonna listen to this which is a division of my track one which is, was already low but I cannot go much higher because uh, I would go too fast for us to detect the, the, the clock but I can multiply the output in the box let's say so I can set the ratio to 1 to 3 And now I am listening to the Usta sequencer, so the sound is of course very rudimentary because it is not meant to work this way, but it can be done. It is a very digital and glitchy sound because it is a digital pulse wave. But if I multiply the uh, frequency by 3, like I'm doing now, I am adding an, an overtone. And speaking of overtone, I can add some reverb. Let me see, how is that? And I can even multiply it by five and have a third up kind of sound, which is quite nice. Everything is major or even eight. Uh, another trick that I can do with the Usta sequencer at audio rate is uh, using the CVB, for example, uh, which I can set to uh, 
bipolar, so minus 5 and plus 5 volts, and I can create the same effect with a gentler tone, which somehow I do prefer. Is that I, I am limited to the intervals that I can generate this way but I like it I think I'm gonna change my uh, bass so that it can play uh, mainly major chords let's see uh, I'm gonna make a very simple uh, sequence so I can start with this note and then uh, the pattern, completely change the pattern. Eight, four, four. That is sixteen, okay. And I think that I can start something like this. Let's see. fast so I'm trying to transpose it down nice see now we have a And uh, this gives me the idea for the next uh, uh, techniques. So let's move on for now. Uh, let me see. We have the timber sequencing. That is easy. I will save that for the last technique. And then we have the Usta Multitempo number one, which is quite fun. So Usta Multitempo number one uses uh, two uh, tracks playing the same thing, but detunes them. And uh, this was shot uh, uh, quite some time ago. And since then, we released the firmware 155. And with that firmware, we have controls over the BPM decimals. And uh, so I'm going to use a track. Uh, well, I, I think I'm going to clone. I, I want to keep my Usta a little bit tidier. So I'm going to uh, clone track 4 over track 2 and set it to external and we were using the ratio of one to five let's see if it works okay so now i can clone track three which at the moment is empty over track four so that now both are empty and i want to set them to a different clock and i will use And I need them to play the same sequence, uh, so they need to work uh, to the uh, same clock, which doesn't need to be related to my track one. It can, but it also cannot. Let's let's assume that they follow the same clock. I like it. I'm gonna clone this track over track 4 and reset. 
set my let's see okay track four needs to be back to the internal clock and i need to find out another oscillator which for example can be palestry now i need to tune it Okay, uh, now I need a couple of envelopes, but that's not a problem. So I program uh, two gate tracks, over track three and over track four. Now it's all downhill. Or not. Let's see. So this is my track one. which in fact is track 3, but you get the idea. And uh, the other one can be this. I am okay with that. So, if we want to use the uh, multi-tempo technique, I need to shift either track 3 or track 4 by some BPM, which can be one more, one less, half more, half less. Now that we have the fine BPM, I'm gonna give it half, I'm gonna make it half a BPM faster. It might take some time to... There it is. You can see that they are phasing now. Let's see how it sounds with our chord. Nice, I like it. Now I left uh, one technique away, which is the timber sequencing. It was easy, but we ran out of tracks. But still, but what what we did was um, using a very slow track, like the one we have here, and then use another faster track to animate it. But I think that I can use my track four. To which is uh, even, it runs at the same BPM, only slightly faster, and use a spare CVB track to modulate, for example, uh, let's see, I want a subtle modulation, not something like this, so maybe, maybe, the source, the source parameter will do. And I'm going to set different values for my... I like it. I think it can work. But I think that I can even use a CVB track on my track 3, which runs at a different tempo. So I can glue them together in the modulation of the bass. Let's see. How's that? I think it can work. Thank you. 
today. This was tough, but I think we managed it. I hope you had a good time. I hope you found this video inspirational. And if you want to create your patch using the same technique, feel free to do so using the Frap Ideas hashtag. I'd be glad to see what you can, uh, what you came up with. And uh, this is it. I hope you had a good time. And I will see you in the next episode.